Hi, Deirdre McNamara here. I'm just going to do a short video on how to create charts in Microsoft Excel. We'll just look at some of the basics. Um, the first thing in charts um, is to make sure that you've selected your data. So the information I have here is a list of students and the results in IT and the results in, in maths. So the first thing you do is you select the areas. So I'm going to select from cell A1 down as far as cell C10 and click on insert and the main here are your choices of charts. I'm going to start off with a column chart, which is the most common type of chart. So click on to column, and the very basic chart is a 2D uh, column chart. And once I click on that button, out comes a very basic chart, and often that may be all that you require. Uh, if you want to do anything else with a chart, you can go to the Layout tab and go to Chart Title. And we'll go with centered overlay. And I'm just going to start, start typing R E S U L T S. And the minute I press enter, the title goes in. Another thing I might like to do is to put on some data labels. So still within the layout tab, I go to data labels, more data label options. Okay. And the value is already selected. I might want to put in, for example, a category name. We'll have a look at that and see how it looks put the person's name at the top. No, not so good. So I'll go uh, data labels, more data label options, and get rid of category name, and just go with the number uh, at the top of each of those. Okay, the next thing you might want to do is you might want to change the color. You might decide, well, actually, I don't want blue. So the first thing I do is I click onto the blue ones, and the minute I click on it, in the layout tab, if I look over here, it says series, IT results. That's the one I want. I'm going to format that. So it's going to format the IT results. So click on that button there. I'll go to the fill tab. I'm going to go to pattern fill. I'm going to choose, let's say, purple. And I'm going to choose green. And I can choose, for example, a stripey or a checkered purple and green uh, effect in here. And then if I want to do the other one, I can click on that. Uh, it's now selected. Maths exam is selected. I'm going to format that. Go to fill. I can go to gradient fill. I might go to the presets and choose a color and close. Now, again, obviously this chart is looking way too busy. I wouldn't necessarily choose anything as fancy as that. But you can see that process is used for changing anything that you don't like in a chart. The next thing I'd like to do is, at the moment, it's going 0, 10, 20. I'd actually like to go up in, instead of going up in 10s, I prefer to go up in 20s. So I click onto the area that I want to change, and I go to Format Selection. And here are my axis options. It's saying the minimum is 0, the maximum is 100. That's happening automatically for me. But at the moment, automatically, it's going up in 10s. I'm going to change that to go up in 20s. So I'll click into Fixed and type in 20 and click on Close. And now it goes 0, 20, 40. OK, now to shrink down the size of my chart, I click onto a corner area and click and drag in. And I can bring move it down with a four way arrow, move it down uh, over there. To create a pie chart, again, I just select the information. You can only have one row of numbers selected in a pie chart and go to insert and pie. And I might choose this one here. Um, and again, I might like actually those names uh, to be put into it. So I'll put on layout, data labels, more data label options, put in category name and value and I'll position them outside and close. And you can see, now at this stage, I don't need my uh, legend over here. That This thing over here is called a legend, so I'm going to click on None. Okay, this is the end of this video.